What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you in how to use the radio button control in JavaFX. The radio button in JavaFX is very similar to a toggle button, and it has all features of a toggle button, but the only difference is a radio button is rendered differently compared to a toggle button. So if you don't know how to use the toggle button in JavaFX, you can click the link in the upper right corner right now. And let's, let's get started. Open your IDE and create a new JavaFX project. So here I am going to open the FXML file in the scene builder. Double click on that and open the scene builder. So I'm going to drag the VBox, VBox, VBox layout and add some nodes inside label and radio buttons <clears throat> so here I am going to make a simple program that can make choices with radio buttons so let's rename the label rename to boolean and make it a little bigger and also these buttons right here something like that and rename this one to true and this one to false and I'm going to align the these nodes in the center so alignment to center all right and here I am going to make a toggle group and I'm going to show you the difference later this one will be choices and this one too all right I'm going to set the FX ID as button one this one will be choice button 2 and choice alright save that and make sure you select the FXML controller save it again and go back here at the NetBeans so I am going to show you how to integrate the FXML file and the main class. So I'm going to type the bbox root equals FXML loader dot load. Make sure you import the layout in the FXML loader. Okay, and yep. And get class and pass in the file name of the FXML file FXML.FXML. And let's create the scene graph. pass the root object and import the scene class all right and let's set our scene to the stage stage that set scene stage that set title java fx radio button Stage that show. Okay, and let's try to run our program to see what that looked like. And make sure you right click the FXML file and make controller. Alright, and let's try to run our program. The simple application. Alright, if I'm going to select the 
one of these radio button the we will get the text and display here in the label let's try that one so here inside the action event we will add some code here for our label so if button one that is selected label I forgot to set the FX ID of the label this will be label save and go back here make controller okay that set text um, button button one that get text I think label that get text is else f else button one button two that is selected okay and let's run this application again to see what the what is what that look like so if I am going to click on the true boolean is true if false oh I forgot to change this to false and let's fix this problem here so to fix that problem let's change this first to button 2 and add some code here label that set text boolean copy it below here and run this again okay it should be fixed now all right so that's how the radio button works in JavaFX it's very similar to the toggle button so I'm going to show you how the toggle group works so let's modify the properties here and go here make sure you select the radio button and remove this toggle group this one too save that and run the program again so when I'm going to click the true it will be selected and if I'm going to select the false it is selected too that's how the toggle group works in JavaFX so I hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and I will see you in the next video